everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope that you're all doing amazing today or tonight wherever you are as per usual next door's dogs are barking i really wish they would sdfu i can't swear in the first 30 seconds of a video because my video will get flagged but oh my god all i do is bark um but yeah today's video is the long awaited update video that i have been meaning to do for months now and we are finally getting around to it i oh, might go and get a little drink of juice and have a little juice drink while i do this i usually like enjoy a fizzy drink when i'm doing my update videos but i didn't get one which is really sad and the shop is just too far away so yeah i'm gonna grab a drink maybe you should grab a drink because i feel like there's so much to update you on that i don't even know where to start and get cozy get comfy and then meet me back here in this way i'm back and i have i got some elderflower cordial that usually i like to have with soda but i ran out of soda so we just have it has cordial in my little season So they are finished and now my aim is to finish 
downstairs before Christmas, especially the living room and the dining room so we can have a nice Christmas dinner and day in the dining room. The living room is nearly done. I would say there are a few things that need doing. I need to build some shelves and get a few more like bits. Um, but the dining room is actually getting replastered tomorrow. The thing about this house is there was so much that needed doing. We moved in and obviously because my grandma has now moved out, the, the house they needed checking over, we needed like a new fuse box installing, the electrics need doing, new plugs installing, new taps, um, carpets, like laminate floors, so much needed doing and yeah tomorrow the plaster is coming over to plaster, re-plaster the dining room and then hopefully we can eventually, like, we can wallpaper it and get that room done and then we're just waiting for some new flooring in the kitchen and the taps are getting done and then we need to like paint that and paint the cupboards and stuff um but yeah and then we'll probably just focus on my like our room next year i would say and like the yard and the garden and the garage and stuff next year um so yeah the i do the only thing about like the living room is that i want a new carpet in the living room because it's this like horrible brown color but i've just said like that can be done in the next few years because the carpet is actually like it's fat like it's okay like just because i don't like the color doesn't mean that i should have spent like 400 pounds on a new carpet so i've just got a nice rug to put over it for now but we're just getting used to like life here my son started school and i'm so that was like one of the reasons that i was like we need to move more quickly is because i didn't want him to start a school in our old like a city and then have to move so he started school and I was really like anxious about him starting school but he has fit right in he absolutely loves school touch wood that it continues he's having a great time there and doing really really well so that makes me super happy my daughter started her new nursery um which is really lovely as well they do really nice like family things so yeah I started my new job I say my new job I basically just I have the same job in a different venue in a different location and that is going really well as well it's a lot busier than my old job I can no longer listen to my audiobooks at work because it's just too busy to do that but everyone's really really lovely and it's nice like already knowing like what I need to do because I've obviously I've on the same job for over two years so yeah we are just kind of like settling in nice and slowly and it is a big change it is a lot quieter here a lot quieter a lot smaller less to do but it's actually really nice and it's put a lot of things in perspective for me priorities have changed a lot since moving here living in a bigger city there was always just so much to do that I always felt like I needed to like be doing things whereas here with less to do I don't feel like that and I'm definitely like it's nice and more focused to like go out and do things like just go to the park go on a nice walk go do things in nature it's nice to obviously be around family because we can meet up with them and stuff and do stuff with them but like spending days at home doing stuff like it is so nice to slow down and it's really doing well for like my finances i don't know why like i since moving here i've spent so like a, so a lot less money basically because there's like a, there's not like so many shops that I can always go to, so many shopping parks, like centres that I can always go to, like constantly wanting. So I like look around and buy all those things. So I've managed to like literally set up a savings account 
set up like have a few like a, some savings which I never used to have and it's like not much but it's more than I've ever had and just like cut back on so much shit basically um I have managed we have managed to literally like since June I would say we have managed to like organize and basically get everything like all the events for spooky season and November and Christmas like booked um and organized which is really helpful because I remember last year we were like having to get them all as soon as they like we had to like basically buy them all at the same time without having like I've saved for it so it was like this one month where we had to buy like pantomime tickets tickets to for Santa like Halloween ticket things everything like that basically that we like to do as a family all at once whereas this year we actually saved for those things and we're able to buy them and that has been amazing and is exciting I feel a lot more organized I've started getting organized for like Christmas and stuff it's just it's a really nicer position to be in and I just feel like I have a lot less expectations for myself and I'm focusing on the things that I really like um, and the things that are important to me and it's just, I don't know, it's just nice it just feels like, like I've got nothing to prove and I'm just focusing on the things that are best for me and my family if that makes sense I just it's nice it is nice so yeah hopefully that will continue forever <laughs> um but yeah so house is yeah moving has been good it has worked out well and yeah we're just getting settled in and trying to make plans for the future as well as just enjoying the day like the moment and it's nice I also love having a dining table did not have a dining table at the old place we moved from a two-bedroom ground floor flat to a three-bedroom house um and like it's a like a nice sized house um, so I would say the downstairs of the house now this house is probably bigger than the entire flat that we lived in so yeah it's I'm really grateful as well like I feel like every day when I wake up I feel like so grateful I'm like oh like lucky how lucky I am to be there so I don't take it for granted at all but sitting down as a family and like having breakfast together or dinner together like that is like my dream so I'm loving it I really am and it's been yeah so lovely the weirdest thing is if anybody watched my video last year when I was talking I think it was like a Q&A and someone had asked like what are your plans for the future and I didn't really say like I didn't say like oh I like strive for anything I just said I would like a bigger house and then I said I don't know I will have a bigger house by August I don't know how I'm gonna but I know that I'm gonna have a bigger house by August and this was in November last year when like we had no idea that my grandma was gonna move out of here and like I talk about manifestation a lot and that is just proof of it because I just knew like in my soul that that we were gonna have a bigger house by August and Jake was saying to me the other day he was like how weird is that like you just said like you knew and you kept saying like we're just gonna have a bigger house by August we're gonna have a three-bedroom house by August and then by August in August we moved into the three-bedroom house I talk about manifestation a lot that is another little bit of proof that it happens so keep manifesting because the more you do it and the more that you like believe um the more like things will happen for you so yeah here we are I'm living my manifestations I'm living those that I'm living all the things that the law of attraction brought me so yeah my next thing that I'm manifesting is that next year around summery time like I'm just gonna be financially abundant for like the rest of my life like so financially abundant that you know I don't have to go to work to like pay the bills and stuff I just will be financially abundant and those things will perspire I'll be able to take care of like my extended family and stuff so let's see how that goes 
that's that is the update on the moving situation and kind of just like my life in general at the moment um reading updates i am getting back in to reading regularly obviously when i was moving i slowed down so much but recently really getting back into it reading every day it's nice because at my work i actually get there my train because i get a train there because it's easier gets in like early so in the morning i have like half an hour to read before i actually start work while i eat like my porridge there which is lovely one thing that this is like a little story time so basically i left my book at work last monday like yeah last monday well last monday for when i'm filming i'm filming this on the 18th of october i left my book at work and i had like 60 pages left i was really enjoying it so i was like oh why like so annoying so i picked up my kindle which i haven't picked up my kindle in months and it had like run out of battery like the battery had completely completely drained so i was like oh for fuck's sake so i put it on charge but nothing was happening it would like flash white and then go off and so i like googled it and it was basically like said like if you let the battery go dead for like months like it might just never come on again that's like how like lithium batteries work so i was like why this is the worst thing ever so i contacted amazon and I was like, look, I only bought this Kindle last year. Like, it, the battery should last longer than this. And they were like, well, it's out of warranty. So there's nothing we can do about it. We can give you, like, 15% off, like, a new Kindle. And I was just like, no. Like, I've only had this for a year and three months. Um, it should last longer than that. And I, like, remember reading this thing about the Consumer Rights Act and how products in the UK, if you buy them in the UK, they have to last like a reasonable amount of time. And I said this to them, I was like, it hasn't lasted a reasonable amount of time, like it's been a year and three months. And they said to me, they were like, oh, okay, then like, we can't reset, we can't like replace the product, but if you order a new Kindle, contact us when you've ordered it, when it's delivered, and then we will refund you for it. So, number one, know your consumer rights, because they were trying to, like, fob me off and, like, get me, like, to buy a new Kindle with just a discount. But as soon as I mentioned that, they were like, oh, okay, like, if you buy a new one, we'll refund it. I don't know why they couldn't just send a new one out, but anyway, they couldn't. So I went to do that, and I just had the Kindle 11... It was like the cheapest Kindle. It was like 98 equid or something. And they didn't have it in stock. So I looked at the paper white, which was like 160 quid. And they didn't have that in stock. The only one that they had in stock was the Kindle Scribe, which is like a new Kindle with like a pen and like a note. Like you can like write on it and stuff. But this was like 250 quid or something. 230 quid. So I said to them, I was like, this is the only one you have in stock. But like, I shouldn't have to, you know, wait until one's in stock. Um, so I would, I was, I don't know, I thought they maybe have had like some stock of like the old Kindles just like hidden and that weren't on sale. But they said to me, oh, well, if you order the scribe then and then we'll refund you for that. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> so I ordered the Kindle scribe and it arrived and yeah i i mean it actually took me so long to get through to someone like to actually refund it like no one knew what the fuck they were doing it was so frustrating but finally they you know like issued the refund so i'm waiting for the refund to come back in now but so somehow i managed to go from the eight like an eight the like cheapest oldest kindle to a kindle scribe just because i knew my consumer rights um, and I think the reason that they didn't have the old ones in stock is because the next day they announced, like, new Kindles coming out, like, colour Kindles and, like, new paper whites, and I was like, that is why they didn't have them in stock. But then, then, I, like, left my Kindle, my old Kindle on charge for, like, days 
and when I went to check it yesterday, it, it had like revived itself from the dead. So, yeah, so now I've got two. <laughs> but the thing I will say about the old one is that I don't like, yeah, so now I've got two. I haven't actually used it, so you know, I don't know what the battery is going to be like. Like, will it be one of those things where, like, I use, like, if I used it for like 10 minutes, it would then just suddenly turn off again? I don't know. But that, yeah. This is your sign to keep your fucking Kindles charged a little bit, even if it's like 10%, because apparently if you let them go dead for a long time, that can actually just kill them all together. And know your consumer rights, because they will try and fucking, like, fob you over. So yeah, that's my little story time of the Kindle situation. And the Kindle scribe though is actually massive. It is so big. Like, I'll have to show you it in a separate video, but it's not one that, like, I would want to, like, look around everywhere. But, yeah. So that was my dramatic story of the I don't think there's, like, really anything else to, like, update you on, like, massively. I've updated you about the house. I've updated you about, like, the job and the, like, kids and stuff. Um... I'm really enjoying, like, going around charity shops at the moment. It's, like, my favourite thing to do ever. I just love it. And I'm really excited for Christmas as well. I don't know. I feel really, really festive this year, even though it's only October. I'm trying to film, like, videos today so that I've got videos, like, for the rest of October, like, up. Because, obviously, life is just so busy at the moment. Um, but apart from that, yeah, I hope that you've all been doing really, really well. I feel like I'm a little bit congested if I sound super strange. I can't think. I feel like if I had done this video like a month ago, I would have remembered more that I have to update you on. Oh, I did see the Northern Lights. The Northern Lights were visible from the UK last week. I will put a photo here. This was outside my house. Amazing. Beautiful. Like, I just loved the universe so much. It was gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I feel really lucky to have done that. Um, I got bit by a spider in summer that got infected. Um, and I had to be on antibiotics and these antibiotics made me feel horrendous. Like, absolutely horrendous. I just felt so sick spider bites in the UK like they're not like harmful but obviously they can get infected and mine just happened to get infected so I had to have penicillin and I have never had like a reaction to penicillin before I'm not allergic to it but they absolutely like destroyed me I don't know what it was my body just didn't react well to it I did finish the course but I was like in a hospital um not even because of the spider bite, but just because, like, the penicillin was just, like, not sitting right with my body. But I so desperately wanted to finish the course because I wanted the infection to get better. So I did that. That was horrendous and horrible. Um, I'm trying to think of what else, like, good drama has happened recently in my life. I don't think anything else, like, everything has actually been going pretty well. and see how we're getting on there. How have you all been? I hope that you have been 